I took a failure. Well, you're not. You are doing the very best you can. Well, he went to go to culinary school, and I stuck him in that factory. Well, first of all, he is not stuck. And B, it is not forever. I'm just afraid he's going to turn to stone in that place. Oh, come on. Turn your phone upside down. Let's go wait tables. I don't know how to make this probably clear. You know, i got a team of 10 Chinese delegates coming here. We expect 20 fucking ways going out to Beijing at $750,000 a pop. And I'm missing two of them. One accountability. I'll take care of it for you. Yeah, hey, boss. This is Dave Willis, and I told you about it. Well, I walk with him. Oh, he says you do good work. Yes, sir. Anybody else around here, you make a princess pay, all right? I'm on good terms with the union. I like the union. They like me. Let's not fuck it up. Hey, Louis, two roast beef, one end cut. So are you kidding me? I need the gym pasta, onion soup, green salad with dressing on the side. Can I go back to town and chicken bowl with cheese? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still yeah. waiting on my order. Wait some more. Really? Really? Don't keep me waiting, Louis. Oh, there's no more end cuts. Uh, what's this? Roast beef. I ordered an end cut. Uh, that's all they had left. Well, why don't you come back? Well, before you said you were in a rush, and that's what they gave me. Look, honey, I'm used to getting what I order. And when I order an end cut, I either get the end cut, or I'm given the opportunity to get something else. Because I don't like other people making up my mind for me. Come on, Ed. She's just a waitress. Not bad, huh? You get a nice letter. Yeah. You know, you'll be looking fresh, too. If you just pay attention to what I say, keep your mouth shut, let me handle everything, huh? Yeah. I don't want to be stuck here for the next 30 years. Yeah, that's fucking right. Let's go. Hey, Ma. Hey, what'd you buy now? Look, we got, we got to cut back. I, I can't keep paying for all the cell phones. Uh, you can keep yours, but I'm going to shut mine off. No way, Ma. You're not turning your phone off. Now that I got a job, you know, you can keep it. No, oh, it's awfully sweet, honey, but... Look, I don't want you cooking tonight. You should go out with your friends. Nah, I gotta go in the 60 mile. Relax. Relax? That's not a word in my vocabulary. No, it's not your fault. Pop smoked three packs a day. I can't even think about it without filling his coffin with bills, including one from the cemetery on the funeral parlor. Ma, come here. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. It's gonna be all right. I love you, too. So it's no big deal to let me in. Come on. Game, you know? My mother's been told you, so I gotta do something, man. I gotta make some love. 
he would be happy I got this job. You know, he said if I did a good job, he talked about something else. Yeah, first of all, you know what? Give me a few days, I'll see what I can do. Hey, 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 shut the fuck up. Jesus. Where your father sat. You don't even have to check my ID anymore. Put that away. I'm the man in my house now, Dave. That's the only way your father would want. Yeah. I miss him. Nothing to say about this place, the block. Nothing. You get that right. Don't become a mess like them punks I gotta deal with every night. Mm -hmm. You have to deal with my mom. She worries every second, even when I'm doing the right thing. She's a tough one, always was. She's pissed I'm working at the metal factory instead of being in school. I know. I gotta make more money, I gotta be the man. She's heartbroken your father's gone. I offered to help her. Hey, no, hey, no, 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 no. She met your father right here where you're sitting. I just wish she didn't sit here forever. We can have your christening party here. Let's just sleep in a boot. <laughs> Your job interview. All right? Maybe I'll start you out running bath salts. Some of those crazy fucking kids over there in the park. Every now and then a little run. A little hole in the wall. What a mess made. <laughs> you just keep your mouth shut to everyone but me. Are we clear? So what's with our friend? Huh? Over there in a the bar. It's all good. Driving all over the neighborhood now. He's gonna clean this place up with what? Drug free bullshit? People ain't happy. Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, me too. Maybe you ought to do something about that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he called the cops twice last week. You know, it's not good for business. You know why you're here? Because huh? of him. We run a business, we don't beat nobody. Move everything at a good price. I put quality shit in the street for a lot of years. You do the volume, they come back. Thank you, Luigi. Hey, it's hey, hey, so hey, good hey. to see you guys out as a family again. How are you two doing? Good, hungry. Keep it up. And you, Ma? I missed you. But, you know, things haven't been so easy lately. Right. Everything's changed though, honey. I'm over there working at the steel factory. It's going good. We're getting back on our feet. Yeah, but that's only for a little bit, because you know he's going to college, right, Ronnie? Soon enough. Well, that's all I wish for. Good advice. Listen to your mother. Eat that. It makes everything all right. <laughs> Careful, it's hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
dogs anymore. There you go, man. Try it on. This is great. This is so awesome. You like that? This is perfect. Mom, look what Dave got. Why do you sell this, Dave? I worked some overtime. Well, you shouldn't have done this. Yeah, it's, it's turned on. No, no, no. You gotta take it back. We got bills. No, the bills are paid. Ma, you should be happy. Smile. Yeah. Look at these. Ma, they're brand new. Jeez, Ma, can't you let them enjoy it? Don't you think we've been through enough? You know what, then? Fuck it. Throw it away. You know, we'll just stay in a fucking depressed family for the rest of our life. That's what you want? You got the green? Don't worry about that. Nothing to do with running this shit. We gotta make a job. Yeah, my mother keeps asking about the money. You know what she's like when she wants to get to the bottom of things. Nah, see, I, I haven't been in your house since she figured I was the one that took the five from my pocket. Look, you came begging to me. Remember? We're making a fucking drop. See if he's such a tough guy with that little stick. <laughs> no, see, we gotta make peace. See, this is one of our best spots. I don't know. My back still kind of hurts. So go ahead, I got it here. Oh, you know, I got a fresh bag. Thank you. Right back. Look, Nick, why don't you guys try working? What are you doing out there is destroying the neighborhood. Well, I got a job, Desi. Where? Selling shit in the park? Come on, baby. That's not a job. What shit are you selling in here? My fucking father. 
He sat in this bar for 20 years. He pissed away every dime he ever made. My father was a good man. My father was a piece of shit. Your father took care of you, your mother, your brother, your sister. He took care of you. He never had to live with him. You didn't have to Every live with him. I know what it's going to do. But what do you <laughs> Times I have to tell you. I mean, I already told you in the other room. I want to hear it again. I went out to my car because I, I left my cigarettes there, so I had a cigarette. You must have been a hell of a cigarette, huh? And that's uh, that's when I saw the guy come out of the bar. <laughs> Can you identify this guy? No. He's wearing a ski mask. How about you? You know who this guy is? No. You, uh, you believe your friend here? Yeah. Is that right? So nobody knows about this mysterious masked man, huh? I mean, how are we supposed to know? There's probably some guy who's, uh, you know, drinks he watered down. You know... If you uh, had nothing to do with it, there's a guy out there wondering if you could make him. And if you did have something to do with it, I've been at this game a lot longer than you two. That fucking cops, man. At least brought my fucking car over here. We've got a park. Someone's gonna fucking break into it. Gee. You don't ever stop. You just fucking killed somebody, Mike. Say that again, and you will fucking regret it, all right? I wasn't even there. It's fucking it's just over for me. I'm done. Hey, Davey, don't listen. fucking touch me! Hey, come on, Davey. Look, I got I got some pure stuff back in my house. Why don't we just go and maybe we forget about this, all right? Huh? What do you say? Hey, where are you going? I'm going home! Yo, you're doing a pickup today. Today? And that's it. Hey, you better keep your mouth shut. I do. Yeah, I knew that till last night. Dave, you want to try getting up? It's 12.30. Just a second. I'm going to fix you some breakfast. Hey, uh, Davey, uh, Vicky wants to re-up, so uh, do me a favor, drop off a bag. Oh, you know what? Actually, drop off two bags. Why not? Yeah? All right. Hey, by the way, do you, uh, you lock the gate, right? Oh, fuck. Get it. Come on. Go with him on the gate. Yes. Come on, guys. Let's go. 
Fucking amateur hour, right? <laughs> Look at that, John Hancock and all. All right, I gotta take care of some things. I'll see you, yeah? Take it easy, man. All right, man. Lock the gate. Yeah, yeah. I always check the gate. Four years we've been here. Not 40 bags on the counter for. I signed in for a Yeah, we see a sign. But where's the money? Do you find this cool? You find it acceptable for guys to steal? I steal from you. It's unacceptable. Hey, 200 bags and 10 bucks a pop. That's 2,000 cash. We don't take product back here. We take cash. He's going to show you the book. Yo, maybe they, uh, you know, I'll give you a B count. How much you short? I don't know. 1,500. Fuck. Now, I could, uh, I could give you five... Six, but you know, that's it. Come on, let's, let's go to the park, get to work, you know? No. No, I said I'm out. I'll figure out a way to get the money. Hey, Mr. Willis, how you doing? Are you, you got a minute? Yeah, sure. It's a shot, right? Step outside. Yeah, you know, just smoke. Sure. Intelligence. So let me talk to you, Nancy. I'll work tonight if you got anything to sell. Nah. Let me handle Canarsie. He knows me better. And, uh, yeah. Hey, you can work for me tonight. Should help send you on your road to the public. Mistake. Been a lot of mistakes. Come on. He's cool. He, you know. He was talking to a cop. Nah, Dave. Yeah. Nah, come on. He wouldn't do that. I was there. And then Canarsie said that you said that he was extremely nervous at the bar. Who told you to do a fucking interview with a cop? You were supposed to be out of there. That was, you know, it's taken care of, isn't it? It's not taken care of. I'll see when it's fucking taken care of. You hear me? When I say, not you. Where's my money? That's what I want to know. Where's my money? He's working on it. Mm -hmm. Where am I going to get my two grand? He's working on it. He's doing shit. I'll handle it. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Come on. Hey, Wallet. From where, Michael? Right? Anywhere. Fuck. You keep fucking telling me that everybody's making fortunes. So why are they hustling you so much for two grand? Want me to tell you why, Davey? You want me to tell you? Because they think maybe you're doing this deliberately. What? Yeah. They think, uh, you know, maybe you know too much. You know? You're in a position to take advantage of them. Yeah. Look, Davey, you gotta clear up that cash and fast. You gotta. I'd help you, but I'm strapped. Just you know, meet me in the park in a couple hours, and we'll work this out, okay? Okay. Look, you've got to stop talking to the cops. I said nothing. Hey! Why aren't you here? Come on. 
Give me a hand. This is the one thing your father always used to do. What, well, was he drunk? Now, come on, don't start with me. All I remember is him drunk on the couch, cigarette burning. I made a noise, he'd be screaming. He was your father. He loves you. You respect him no matter what. Respect him, Ma. Everybody on the corner is still making jokes about him, saying he still owes him money, my father. Never had a day's peace. People are still banging on the door, threatening us. I hand over my mother's wedding ring. Everything I have. Pick that up. I said pick it up. I to talk to him. I guess he didn't know how to stay out of trouble. Another dead body comes out of this canal, huh? Eh? All right.
feeling like this is the story I'm watching on the news. I'm going to get through this. You? You know you. I'm looking at you. You'll do the same for me, okay? Come on. This time you're, you're too cute. Miss Willis, thanks for coming in today. Again, my condolences for your loss. Thank you. You sure you're up for this today? Yes. This came in from the medical examiner. Born May 17th, 1992. Died November 8th. I guess this is all you get. Miss Willis, this type of crime usually involves drugs. I'm a bit concerned with the company your son kept. What company are you talking about? My son was murdered. Did you realize that we had him in here for questioning two weeks ago? No, he never told me. What for? With a witness to a murder, and we believe that he might be protecting his friend. Who? Why would he do that? What do you know about his relationship with the Michael J. Vardy? Michael. They've known each other since they were kids. They worked together. I never liked him. I always thought he was trouble. We believe that Vardy was part of a drug gang. You know anything about that? No, of course not. What's any of this have to do with Dave? That's what we're trying to figure out. Detective, my son was a good kid. You have to believe that. Yeah. Listen, I know this is difficult, but if you remember anything, no detail too small. You give me a buzz, okay? Come on, honey, don't you have something better to do? Where's your brother? Still sleeping. 12 o'clock on a Saturday, he's late for football. Mom, Bernard doesn't want to go. He told me he can't face anybody. I don't understand. The kids at school are saying mean stuff. I don't know what they're saying. Dave was not some criminal. Bernard, you have to get up. Bernard, you have to get up and go to football. Hey, Bobby. I want to talk. All right, talk to them, boss. How you doing, Michael? How you feeling? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. Gee, thanks, detective. I'd like to ask you again. You say you never saw Dave that night? Is that right? You see it. How about afterwards? Oh, uh, see, I, I went home and I, I went to bed. And he, he didn't tell me what he was doing. That was it. He wanted me to say I, I was in bed. You know, it's funny. We found a, a gun in the sewer out back. The guy who came running in right after the shooting said he didn't see nobody going out the fronts. What do you make of that? I told you what I saw, Detective. You sure you weren't out for a cigarette? I'll get back to you. Yeah, we have this stuff, but what about Vardy? Have you questioned him? Yeah, but he's not talking. But don't worry, something's got to give, it always does, right? It's not like these people are going to line up to chat with me. Hey, Mr. Willis, how are you? Okay, thanks. Thank you. Ready? Time? Yeah. we got to run. Oh, good. Where to? Barryville. Barryville? Yeah. We're hunting. Hunting? Boom! Well, is something up there? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I mean with the case. Who is in Barryville? We are. Uh, we've got off till Friday at 4. Off? Why? Because we're off. Let's go. Listen, I'll call you when you get back on Friday, okay? Oh, uh, can I just use the bathroom? It's the uh, second door on the left. <laughs> decided we're not going to split our chips with you anymore. You're on your own. Lovely bitches. Good girl, you're doing your homework. You're going out too? Just for a little bit. Keep the door locked. What about dinner? I'll bring home pizza. Okay, pizza's fine. I love you. 
Love you too. No, you know, I'm, I'm good. You sure? Come on, get in. It's raining. Yeah, all right. Why not? What's up, 10 for 90? Why didn't you come to his funeral? You were his friend. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to. I just... I was too upset. You sure you weren't, I don't know, scared? What? Good night, Michael. Tell him what Michael Here, would you mind giving me your cell phone number? You know, just in case I ever need to call you. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, 917... Two eight nine zero seven nine six. Good night. Next time you get a sleeve, right? Get out of here. This shit's raw, right? Eh? I'm trying to say
See you so quicker than you think. Am I making you nervous? You're not making me nervous. You're giving me a pity. Why don't you get the hell out of here? You don't belong here. I'm just drinking my coffee. Better behave yourself, because I don't discriminate. Okay? Get your cell phone and get the hell out of here. cop killed from this precinct over the weekend. Yeah, I heard. I'm sorry. I thought maybe there was a connection. To what, your son? Yeah. I have no idea. Right now, my priority is to catch a cop killer, okay? Oh, I understand. Really? I don't think you do, because you keep Wilson in here trying to stop everything to figure out who killed your son, the drug dealer. Who the hell are you to call my son a drug dealer? We've got other priorities right now. You understand? We've had a rough couple of days. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, what about this blackie guy? What's his connection? Where did you get that from? Around. Look, I'm telling you, stay away, okay? Especially from this blackie. You understand? Well, does he have anything to do with Dave's murder? And stop trying to play cop. You're in way over your head. Now go home, take care of your kids. They need you. Excuse me, are you Mrs. Grassley? Yes. Did you get Detective Hogan's message? Are you with the police? I'm working this case. I fell asleep watching television and saw I got up to take my medication and I heard screeching fires and I looked outside. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this for a reference. A big truck bumped into the light pole and uh, the driver jumped off. Uh, did you see what he looked like? A small guy with a hat, um, like those uh, baseball caps that the kids wear. Yeah, uh huh. And then the two other men came from the canal. Can you tell me anything else about what the car looks like? It was a big car. I remember it's about, it was too dark to see the color of the car. And then, then I didn't know the terrible thing that happened. Thank you very much, Mrs. Grassley. We'll let you know if you need anything else.
things, you know. I know you got to do this. I need help to get people. Okay? Still at court. Okay. Can you tell him that Anvil is called? Thank you. How do I need him for? Hey, Ann, can I be with you? Yeah, um, there were a couple guys in here last night asking about you, and uh, frankly, I don't think they were here to ask you on a date. Don't worry about it. But seriously, these are not nice guys, wise guys. Can I help you with anything? No. You sure? No, it's fine. I can take care of it. Ann. Hey, Ann. I'm so upset, I don't know who to go to. For what? To find out what's happened to Dave. Look, you were his best friend. Cops are useless, you know that. But can we please just go inside for a minute? I can't do this. Michael, I've known you a long time. Come on, please. Please, let's just go in for one minute. You miss him. I know I do. Why don't you pour me a drink? About. Come on, talk to me, Michael. About what? <laughs> about what happened to Dave. Miss Willis, you know, I, I told you I, uh, I don't know anything about that. Tell me something. Is your car fixed? Is your car? Uh, it's red. Red? Yeah. It's a nice color. I like my car. Like the black car you were in the night that Dave was murdered. You know, uh, you're crazy, I you? No. But you see, I just want to know who did. So I had nothing to do with that. Look, Dave, uh, Dave screwed up. Okay? He owed a big buck and we couldn't pay. Who couldn't he pay? <laughs> listen, listen. Dave was short on product, okay? He was short on product and, you know, these things happen. They hit him. He got beat, all right? He got beat. This is from the hall, but the car hit. What are you talking about? You know, when the headlight broke, when the car hit the pole, when you were driving the car, whose car was it? I know you were in, but it's not a baseball game. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. He texted me, and he texted me about to stop. You gotta stop, right? It's okay, Mike. Told me everything I need to know.
get it right this time, Louie. Hey, not red. She bothers me fucking day and night, and she knows. She fucking knows. You know, you're one crazy little fuck, you know. That things were perfect here. So you've got your little pussy friend, and now you're fucking up, and I can't have it. <laughs> Look at holy shit. Hey, that news. Not a call, you know. It's no problem. There is from where I'm standing. Did you talk to that Willis woman? No. Oh, Not you know. Suck at me! Say nothing. Did you? I ain't say nothing. I swear, I ain't nothing. You live in my ass. Tomorrow, go find me another witness, okay? What are you talking about? He no deed. He was our best shot. He blew it. Well, I couldn't wait for you. I had to go talk to him. Like you had to go talk to Mrs. Grazzi? It was great going over there after you were through. Oh, I was at my job to get there first. You keep it up. You got a real knack for this line of work. Now, listen to me. I need three things the car, the people in the car, to place your son in that car with those people. That simple. One, two, three. I don't have those three things. I don't have a case. We don't figure out who killed your son. You understand? Fine. Oh, it's perfect. It's dangerous, all right? I mean, look at you. Look at your hands. You have to serve people. Come on, stop this whole thing. Why don't you just go, go get a manicure, all right? I can't afford a manicure. I have a million certificates my dumb boyfriend gave me. You can help me, all right? 
Excuse me, aren't you um, Mr. Canarsie's wife? Yes, sir. My son used to work for your husband. And I, I saw you once outside the warehouse. Oh, oh, that's nice. I'm Ann Willis. You take the best day to be here. Where's your buddy now? His name's Dave. He's dead. Oh, my God. I, I didn't realize that the boy that... Oh, my God, that is terrible. First your boy and then Mike Vardy. He's a nice boy. He worked for my husband for close to two years. It didn't seem like he was cuckoo, but then, whoosh, yes, he did. My husband was very upset about what happened. My neighbor, Mrs. Fonito, she called when she heard what happened to Mike because he rented her garage. I can't bring any of this up. I can't talk to my husband about anything these days. Do you live in the neighborhood? No, I live over in the village. I have a cousin who lives on 80th near Shore. I'm on 68th between Shore and Narrows. Oh. Huh? You know what? I just remembered. I gotta, I gotta go pick up my kids oh, at okay. school. But, um, it was really nice meeting you. It, it was nice meeting you too, and I'm really sorry for your loss. <laughs>
save my sweet boy. You brought so much joy, love, and light into all of our lives. We are grateful for the time God shared you with us. And we will carry you in our hearts forever. So now, my beloved son, I will turn you to our heavenly Father. I pray that you are at peace. I love you forever. You will always be in our hearts. I love you, Dad. Thank you so much. Thanks. Maybe I'll we'll see you around. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Thank you. 